In this short uh, sped up video, we'll be showing you how we set up the drone based LiDAR system. Uh, first off, it uh, requires a high preci precision RTK GPS, and that's the device you see on the tripod. There on the left, it communicates with the drone. And here is the assembled drone, ready to go. Uh, Got to double check everything, uh, make sure the GPS has a good signal, talk to locals. Um, again, double check everything for safety on the drone, upload the mission into the computer, um, and then once everything is finally ready, we go. Once the drone is up in the air, we're able to use the controller to see uh, several different sets of data being beamed back from the drone. Um, in the main view window here, we can see the first person first person view camera that's looking straight out the drone and in this view it's a, a Google Earth like top down view of where the drone is and, and the transects that it's flying. The H you see there is home uh, that's where I've parked the car that you saw earlier and uh, the drone will automatically return to this at the end of a mission or if there's a problem. Um, you also see small windows on the left and right uh, this right-hand window uh, is what the LiDAR unit camera is seeing. So this is looking straight down as it's flying. It's on a gimbal, so it looks quite smooth. Um, and you can see the canopy. Uh, you'll see buildings and such, as this is a, a rural area, but there are, there are uh, houses and things throughout. And you can also see uh, the l actual LiDAR data. So these are the scans being sent back uh, to the controller uh, showing the, the operator what the, what the LiDAR data looks like as it's coming in. And then here it is uh, in a side-by-side -side mode. So we can see the vegetation on the left from the, the straight camera and then the, the LiDAR camera looking straight down. And once the mission is complete, the drone automatically returns, lands, and we're ready to fly the next area. So once we're done collecting the data in the field, the hard part begins. Uh, we have to process the data, uh, which involves using expensive software and uh, quite a bit of time to extract the ground surface from the data. So the, the whole point of the LiDAR is to be able to see through the vegetation and uh, identify structures that, that we can't see with our naked eye. Uh, here is a point cloud that it was collected earlier in the year. And if you zoom in, you can see the individual points. Um, you can see there's lots of heavily vegetated areas. Uh, sometimes it takes it a bit to fully, fully load properly. But once this sort of data is processed, we end up with a map like this. And so in this situation, uh, much of this you can see with your naked eye, these, these big, big structures, but um, here's a structure, 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 whole cluster of structures. Um, there's a modern road here and then probably a prehistoric road, prehistoric structure, 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 structure group, structure. You start to find just tons of stuff, and this is the whole goal of, of using uh, the drone uh, LiDAR-based system. So in a nutshell, uh, we fly the, fly the drone, collect a bunch of data, um, billions of points across the landscape over a few days, and we go back to the lab. We spend hours and hours processing the data, uh, days really, and then once it's all finished, we end up with a nice map that shows us what is beneath the canopy.